Well, you've seen a little bit of what wild pigs can do in the way of damage and getting into conflict with man. Alabama is blessed with very healthy populations of wildlife, and as our population of humans continue to grow along with this successful wildlife increases, we're running into more and more conflicts between the two. And there's a wide variety of ways to deal with that. We generally try to focus on controlling the damage as opposed to focus on controlling the critter itself. And that's what we'll talk a little bit about today, specifically with beaver. When landowners call us with the wildlife problem, one of the most frequent questions is how can we catch these animals to remove them from our property? The, the overriding thing is to remember is it's very important to match the trap to the animal and to run these traps early in the morning. For the restraining traps, again, remember these, these traps catch the animal alive and hold it until you get there. The next type we'll talk about are the body gripping traps. These traps actually clamp across the body and kill the animal. These are similar to the old rat trap design. The rat trap is the kill trap, snaps across the body. These traps are the same way. As you can notice, they're much bigger. This one uh, is a 330, designed for beaver and otter size animals. Okay, we're gonna make a beaver set here, but first we've gotta set our trap. And remember we discussed the several stage process involved. Uh, first, we have to compress these springs and these traps can be kind of aggravating, as you'll tell, as we go through this process. Uh, one of the, these springs are fairly strong, so one of the easy ways to do it is with a rope. Probably easiest. They make big metal setting tongs and some other techniques, but this is one that most landowners can do. You just take a rope, wrap it around your foot, and pull it through those eyelets once. Come back around, through it again, and then when you pull up, it'll compress these springs. You can bend down and set that safety hook. It's important when you're handling these Keep these safety hooks on because that'll keep it from really hurting you if it sets off accidentally. Get our springs out to either side. Triggers in the middle. And com then compress the jaw. And to stabilize it, we're going to take some sticks and run through the springs and then bend them over in between the jaws because these jaws are going to expand away from this stick, it'll allow the springs and the jaws, to, but still stabilize the trap. So after we've got it in place, we'll run our sticks down in. We've got our trap in place now. We're gonna put a, now our stabilizing sticks in place. Then the dog goes over the trigger set in a manner where the beaver will swim through to go over and they'll set that trigger and then it'll snap and get them. 